this is part two of the uh, church sign I was doing. And I got it, I got the name glued on. I didn't do any video of that because I was trying to hurry and get the thing glued on in time and get it pressed down in time to try and dry. And I was just, it was kind of frustrating, so I didn't get any video of it. But this is what it's looking like. You can see the whole thing on there. It looks pretty good on there. But what I'm wanting to do is try to put a piece of trim around this edge. And I'm going to have to cut it. And I messed up. You can, it's hard to say, but this side is a little bit over 3 8 thick right there. And this side, where I messed the cut up inside there anyway, is thinner. So I messed up right there. So I think I'm going to have to cut a strip and add across here. And hopefully, if everything works out, this trim will cover that. And it will cover the crack where I had to cut the thing in half to get it cut in the scroll saw. But anyway, what I'm attempting to do, I don't have a table saw. So I'm trying to cut this trim with a, uh, with a skill saw. And this right here is a practice piece that I've done. It's just a piece of 2 by 4 and it'll have this ledge will be 3 8 thick, which will go on the front side. This will be an inch that'll go on. The inch will cover right here. And so it'll be like an outside corner molding. And then it'll cut off right across there. And the corner's 45 and everything to make it right. And I'm hoping that I can make it bevel up from the part that sits against the sign to the outside edge. So what you see here is a fence that I have set up to try and cut this two by four. This is a lot of trouble to do with a skill saw, I'm telling you. But this is what I'm trying to do. I do know that I can buy a piece of trim and trim it up and put it on there. But I want the thing to be homemade or handmade, however you want to call it. So what we're going to try to do is cut this cut this line right here 3 8 deep and then we'll come back and cut an inch deep the other way like I did on the other one it's going to take a lot of setting up fences and everything but hopefully this will work out still working on this sign I got a little bit of stuff done I got some of this trim cut and man it is just it is worrisome but this is the trim you can see how it fits around there and that one side right there is beveled over at a 45 and I got some of it done and put on the sign the bottom piece there and it looks good on there it's just it's so hard to cut with that skill saw Instead of setting up fences and this and that. And then I had to miter it right there because I don't have enough clamps to run the whole thing at one time. So I had to do it in pieces. But anyway, I, it was so much trouble I got to doing this. I got this idea from Izzy Swan. To, uh, if you don't know him, look up his channel. He's crazy about woodwork. But uh, I got this idea from him to mount the skill saw and make a makeshift table saw. But... I finally got down to cutting this thing wide enough to where I could cut the 45 on that top edge. And of course now it turns out, you can see I got this board, I did this with the skill saw already, that it's not high enough to reach that top point. So I cut that all super wide for nothing apparently. That's how wide it had to be to make that thing go all the way to 45. So now I'm going to have to take it back off, cut that groove, and then mount it back on. Hopefully I can get the straight cuts out of it. Alright, well I got the 45 cut on. You can see what kind of crazy fencing I got set up to do that. Man, that was a pain, hey? I got to come across easier ways of doing this stuff. <laughs> I really do. But that's set back up. I'm going to put the saw back onto that little table part. And hopefully we'll get going back again from there.
Well, that about wraps the picture up. Uh, I'm going to give it a light sanding and then put polyurethane on it after this stain dries. I brought it to work with me today just so I could finish up the sanding and stuff while I was on break. But that's pretty much it. That's a few things I'm not really happy with. I need to get better suited up for cutting that trim myself if I want to do it myself instead of buying it. I had one gap there that I'm not happy with at all. I couldn't get that wood filler to stay in there. I don't know if there's some kind of secret to that wood filler that I don't know of or not, but it stayed in that one, but I sure don't like how it looks. But like I say, that'll pretty much wrap it up. I'll put the polyurethane on it and the hangers on the back. And that'll do it for this one. I got one more picture over here I'm fixing to go ahead and stain. While I've got the stain out, that's just pallet boards and trim cut out of two by fours. That'll do it for this video. If y'all like these types of things, usually I do welding videos. I've just been trying to mess around with some wood stuff. Realize I'm kind of out of my league on this wood. <laughs> but I'm just trying to get better at it. If you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.